Good day, folks, and welcome to review number 48. Today, we complete my collection of the original three Seekers. Today, we're going to take a closer look at the Hasbro release of Masterpiece Thundercracker. Starting off looking at the packaging, we see that Thundercracker comes packaged in generation style packaging with a similar trapezoidal shaped box uh, that's uh, very similar to the packaging that Masterpiece Starscream came at when he was uh, released at Walmart several years ago. Uh, the, of course, main feature is this big clear plastic display showing the figure in nearly its entirety. The back of the packaging features a large artwork image of Thundercracker, uh, as well as the short bio paragraph over on the left hand side. What's interesting about this artwork is this appears to be the same artwork that was used on the Classics Thundercracker packaging. The right side of the packaging features the same artwork that was on the back here, and then the opposite side has just a few little descriptions of some of the features of the figure as well as the tech specs down here at the bottom. So here we have Masterpiece Thundercracker himself and as with all Masterpiece figures uh, he just looks looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, he's very show accurate. Um, I will point out this mold is the new Seeker mold. So uh, if you have the previous Seekers that have been released here in the US, the mold is a little bit different and uh, I'll point out those differences here in a little bit. Um, as for the figure himself, he's very articulated. Uh, neck articulation, uh, he's got ratcheting shoulders here with a hinge, uh, he's got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, wrist swivels, uh, articulated fingers, uh, he's got a uh, ratcheting hips there, a thigh swivel, uh, knee joint there. Uh, the feet are not quite as poseable because they don't have the um, swivel. Well, a little bit, but they don't quite move like the, the old one did. However, they did add a little extra stability in here uh, for when he's standing. Uh, Overall, though, just a very articulated, well-done figure. Now, as I said, of course, there are some differences between this mold and the previous Masterpiece Seeker mold. And uh, what better way to compare the two than use the one that I had standing in for Thundercracker on my shelf, the Japanese release of Masterpiece Starscream, which, for some reason, they use this bluish-green color. Um, yeah, he never quite fit in on the shelf as Thundercracker or as Starscream. He's just kind of his own figure. But anyway, uh, looking at just a few of the obvious differences, the biggest difference you'll see in this mold is in the legs here. Uh, what they have done with the new mold is they've taken off these pieces that come off the side, uh, from what I've heard, the designer intended these kind of be like uh, samurai scabbards. Uh, but they've taken those out and they've integrated the pieces here into the leg and the wings. Um, and that's probably the most major difference. Uh, otherwise, there's a lot of subtle remolding going on, you know, as far as the chest and the, the waist pieces. Uh, you have a completely different head. Uh, the null rays uh, were detachable on the original mold. On the new one, they are integrated and work into the transformation. Uh, and of course, you've got you know a couple little pieces here to cover up the sides where the scabbards used to be. Um, but overall, though, they are still very similar and. Uh, there's not really any problem intermixing the old mold with the new mold on your shelf. Now one thing I did really want to point out on these uh, 
head molds was a couple of the differences that I've really liked. Uh, in particular, the side vents. Um, on the new Thundercracker, these side vents are spring-loaded and will pop out, uh, which I think is great because for me, one of the outstanding features of the Seeker face from the original G1 cartoon was those side vents. And uh, if you compare them to what they did on the original mold, the original mold, they didn't have anything spring-loaded and they were very thin. And uh, to me, it, it really didn't stand out as much of a feature as it does on the new figure. Now, let's take a look at Masterpiece Thundercracker's transformation process. If you are not familiar with the Masterpiece line of transformers, the first thing you need to know is that these things are very complex. This isn't your everyday kid's toy. There are many small parts and pieces that need to be moved, and many of them in a particular order, in order to transform this figure. Now with some Masterpiece figures, including the original Seeker mold, some of these parts were so delicate you really had to be careful or you could end up breaking off pieces of the toy. With the improvements they have made in the new Seeker mold, Thundercracker does not seem nearly as fragile as his predecessors. But don't get me wrong though, there are still plenty of small tabs and joints that could be snapped off if you're not careful. Now another issue that has plagued the Masterpiece line is the alignment of panels, and Thundercracker still has this issue. You have to kind of massage the figure a bit to get all the panels to line up and fully engage all of the tabs. And many times, as you work one tab into place, another one pops out. You have to kind of strive for a certain balance when transforming this figure. Now, while all of this may seem frustrating, the transformation really does provide a great sense of satisfaction, especially when you see just how accurate both the robot and aircraft modes are. So here's Thundercracker in his F-15 mold, and, uh, you know, it, it lives up to the... Uh, Masterpiece name, of course, uh, as the original mold did as well. Uh, it's no big shock to anyone that I'm an airplane guy, so uh, having a lot of accurate details um, really do make make it for me. That's one reason why I love this mold so much, is because it does look like an accurate F-15, aside from you know a little bit of robot parts showing on the bottom. Uh, but I don't think we've ever had a perfect jet. Uh, this is probably the closest thing we've ever gotten to it. Uh, but as for this particular figure, uh, I didn't mention in the robot mode, but the blue color of the plastic is just stunning. Uh, they, they did a standout job with this blue. It's got just a little hint of a, of a metallic sheen inside the plastic, so it looks great. Uh, and of course, this being a masterpiece, they've done some really uh, neat little details for the paint. Uh, they've got uh, names on the side of the cockpit. You've got uh, this little, little picture of reflector on the side that says, Say Cheese, uh, since we've seen <laughs> you know, one scene from a G1 episode where Thundercracker was taking pictures with reflector. It's a good homage there. Uh, and then the, the artwork on the tail says Sonic Boom with uh, looks like Thundercracker holding Soundwave, which uh, is a neat little bit of artwork there too. Uh, but uh, you've got some of the some of the uh, details similar to the G1 toy there. Um, looking at the other side, you have still have you've got you actually have a, a different name for the uh, second seater. On the uh, right side, you've got another another image of uh, reflector there. Uh, the Thundercracker and Soundwave Sonic Boom artwork back there. Um, but yeah, the 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 artwork uh, 
the colors, uh, everything on this figure looks great. Now, as I said, being a plain guy, I did want to point out a few other of the uh, nice little details on this mold. If uh, you're not familiar with the Masterpiece Seeker mold, uh, you have a uh, openable ray dome there with the uh, radar antenna underneath the ray dome. Uh, you have a deployable speed brake here, uh, which is used to slow the plane down on landing. Uh, you also have uh, the engine cowls here that open up so you can uh, get access to the engines. Uh, these were on the other mold too, although this, uh, this is actually where the uh, heels hide now. Uh, which is a nice addition to this mold, but uh, all that's still there. You have the the movable flight controls. Um, you've got uh, the landing, the accurate landing gear deployed there. Uh, yeah, I mean, they've. Uh, I like I said, I just I just love this uh, this mold, be it in vehicle or robot mode. Thundercracker does come with a uh, few accessories here as well. Uh, first off, you have the stand here with Thundercracker's name on it. Uh, I will point out though, this stand was designed for the old mold. So when you put him on there in aircraft mode, it doesn't quite fit perfectly. And uh, as a result, you kind of have to balance him a little bit so he's not, not perfectly attached to the stand. It, that may just be an issue with mine. Uh, but uh, to me it seems like it just doesn't quite fit right. Uh, you also get these missiles here which you can use to if you physically detach the uh, ball joint here for the uh, null rays you can put the missiles in those in their place uh, or you can put them on in robot mode. Uh, you also get the uh, the little clip for holding the Megatron gun underneath uh, just like Starscream came with, and you also get this nice little um, chrome plated pilot figure. Uh, now, it, it is worth noting that this is a little different though. Um, the Starscream mold all came with a version of Dr. Archival, and uh, this is actually uh, has a pilot's uh, helmet and uh, oxygen mask on. Um, so, this is, this is a, uh, a new mold as well and I thought it was nice that they they chrome plated him too um, but those are the accessories that come with Thundercracker the US release of Masterpiece Thundercracker is timed just right for those of us that already have the Hasbro version of Masterpiece Starscream and Skywarp we've been longing for this third seeker for a while for those that recently dove into the Masterpiece line with the remolded Takara Starscream you can now add to your seeker lineup this is also the first US release of the new Seeker mold, so it gives many of us our first experience with the revised mold. And speaking of that revision, Takara and Hasbro have done an excellent job of correcting what was wrong with the original mold while maintaining everything I really thought worked. In my opinion, Masterpiece Thundercracker chalks up another win for the Masterpiece line.